Aquarius, welcome to my channel. Today we are doing the last 10 days of August and if you're looking for the weekly videos of August or uh, don't look for them because I didn't do them. Uh, I was out, I was in some personal uh, engagement so I wasn't in town so I couldn't do it. So that's why I thought I'll do for August instead of breaking into two. I'll do, you know, one combined video which will have general and love and for the last 10 days of August, okay? All right, so uh, before I start, Taurians, now this I explained to Aries also on the other videos, other uh, Zodiacs. I would be bringing out certain videos. Uh, they'll be mostly audio, maybe. And, uh, you know, I'll be talking about Vedic astrology, how it is different from the tropical that we follow, and what is the right way to see your tarot readings, okay? Whether you should just see it by your general sun sign, or you should see it by your moon sign, or whether by rising, and what is the right way to look at it, what is the difference, why sometimes we see our sun sign video, but that doesn't work with us, so uh, I'll explain all that in those, they'll be very small uh, educational videos and I'll try to make it into as layman language as possible, all right? Okay, uh, now just for, before I begin, uh, if you're looking things, uh, looking at things from the sun sign level, then what happens is you're looking at things at a very soul level. So that is very deep rooted. That is very deep. So... That is what your soul wants. But maybe in your practical life, maybe in your day-to-day -day life, you're not that. So at the soul level, you're a person who loves independence. But in your daily life, you show as a family is very important. So then if you're seeing your tarot by your sun sign, they will never resonate with you. Because unless you're living the life that your soul wants... It will not resonate. Similarly, moon is the way you think. So from your thought level, you could be seeing things from the moon side and knowing that, okay, this is what I need to do. Or maybe this is what the other person is thinking. But that, that may or may not manifest in the real life. Why? Because, again, thoughts could be different from the actions we take. Sometimes, let's say you're hungry. But your action is you are screaming on your friend. So now you're hungry. That, that boils down to you losing your cool. And that will have a different replication. So moon sign, watch it by your moon sign only if whatever you think is that you is that's what you do. Okay? And very few people do that because I give a very small example. There could be even deeper issues. Similarly, on your rising, rising is the best way to see anything because rising is what you are immediately doing in the physical world, in your physical self. So those are the actions you are taking. Those are the way you behave in public. So when you're watching tarot, especially your love reading, or your work, you are dealing with people. Whether it's a single person or whether it's a group of people or an organization, you're dealing with external work. So there, what you're thinking at the soul level or what you're thinking at a mind level will really not always precipitate to a physical level. You may do that, do those things. You may not. You may just do what the others are doing. Okay? So, if you know whether you think from your soul level or whether you think from your mind level, then watch by your sun sign, moon sign. Else, right, watch first your rising and then see your sun and moon and see if they are resonating, if they're making sense to you. All right. So, we'll have more details in the other videos that are to come. All right. So, Taurus, let's see what we have for you. Alright, 
Taurus, this is for you in love. Okay. First we are going to do love, then we are going to do a gentleman. And again, this is tarot, so energies can completely flip. Okay? So this is you. This is the other person. So this can completely flip, as I said. And this is the outcome. Now, let's see for work. Work or general. So your general can very well match with your love life. It may be completely separate. This is what is happening around you. This is what you got to do. And this would be the outcome. All right, Taurus. Let's see. First, the messages. What message do we have from my Taurians? Regarding love. What is it for Taurians regarding love? One enchanted evening. The perfect night. What are you planning, Taurus? A date night? Maybe you are. Or maybe there is a special one. The ring is ready. So is the crystal. Just the person needs to be there. All right. For general, sun. The golden energy of the sun brings fame and fortune. Very nice, Taurus. All right. So now let's see your luck. Okay. You are releasing something. This is Archangel Azrael. So you are ending something. Okay? You're releasing something. And the other person is the Nine of Air. Okay. They are too much. They, they're thinking of the worst. Okay? If you have actually called them for dinner... Maybe you have a happy surprise for them, but they are imagining the worst, okay? They are not able to sleep. Outcome, the four of earth, okay. All right, Taurus, before we go to general, let me see a love life. Now, I see one enchanted evening. So some days, this, this coming 10 days, one day or one night will be very important for you, Okay. It would be like the perfect night. The perfect night to propose or maybe first time take that person out for a date or maybe just spend quality time with each other. Maybe you're an old married couple and you don't get time to talk to each other, to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation with each other. So you're going to get that, okay? In the next 10 days, you're going to get one night that where you can actually have that. And there, what I see your energy is that you're releasing. So maybe there are certain grudges you held against your partner. Uh, I could be connecting with a Taurian who's already married or a Taurian who is, um, you know, in a very old, stable relationship. Sometimes what happens is we build up a lot of negativity against our partner we have some grievances, we have some problems, we have some issues. So that night that you get, or maybe you've started accepting your partner the way they are, or you've started accepting and releasing uh, those toxic relationships from your life. Maybe your person wasn't, wasn't good enough for you, or you realize that they need to be set free, and you were holding on to those things, and without thinking that the other person may, may just be carrying on with you for, for something else, for some sake. Maybe for the sake of children. Maybe for the sake of joint assets or whatever. They were there with you. But you realize that you both are just not meant for each other. So you are in that mode of release, but you haven't made it very open yet. So maybe this evening that you're going to get with this person... That's the time you're going to open and tell them how you feel, how you think, okay? So that could be the thing. The other person, on the other hand, I'm seeing, they are expecting the worst from you. Maybe it is something even small, you know, something they've done, and you've come to know of it. 
and they are now expecting the worst. They are like thinking you, you could be coming into simply cutting them out of their life, of your life. Or it's like, you know, sometimes we have those self-fulfilling prophecies. We, we talk about, oh, I know things, he's going to come and do this. I know she's going to come and say this. Or oh, I know the next time they call, they're going to say this. Or next time we are together, she's going to fight on this or he's going to fight on this. That is the energy that the other person you're connecting with is going through. Or, as I said, this tarot, this could completely reverse. You could be the one feeling this and the other person is somebody who's already released it. Maybe they don't even remember. But you are living it in your mind. Or it's just the opposite. You don't even remember. Or you've just simply, you want to forgive, forget and move on. But the other person, it's all going on every night. They're not able to sleep. That is killing them. What is coming towards you? You know, by the end of this month, you will see, you know, either you will be too cautious with this person or you both will be very cautious about each other or you'll be too frivolous. Okay? But whatever decision you're going to take, both of you, it's going to be a good decision. And I feel you are the one who is going to make the decision, not the other person. You know, you're going to release some and hold some. So you could be releasing bad memories, bad experiences and holding on to the good ones. Which is the most likely or, you know, which has the 80% probability. Rest 20% could be just the opposite. You completely overlook the positives of the relationship, the positives of why you two are together and focus on that 20% negative. So you're going to get one evening with your person and that evening will take shape in the way you have what you have released. Okay? Because the other person is incapable of making any decision right now. They are expecting the worst. They are going through a lot of mental anxiety. So it's on you, completely on you. So if you have released negativities, then you're going to make them realize. And then, you know, I see the four of it. This is not always being the miser, but this also means you know, making wise decisions, weighing the pros and cons, seeing the right things, doing the right things. Maybe it's something to do with money, assets. Okay? Maybe it's something to do with moving in. So it's about being too careful. It's like taking calculated risks. So whatever changes you propose in the relationship is going to be very calculated. Nothing rushing, nothing that you will impose on the other person or the other person will impose on you. No, it's going to be very rational, very small steps, baby steps towards something good. Okay, so nothing to worry. I see you coming out of certain old things that were not serving you and you're transforming yourself. So things which where you lost your cool in the past, I see you more accepting to them. You know, and uh, whereas things which irritated you in the past or things which I, I see you coming out of that, you, you're learning to overlook, you're learning to see from the other point of view. But um, with the nine of air, the other person in your life is very, very tensed because they have seen a different you in the past. So they're not expecting this change. They don't know that you've released a lot of negativity from you. Okay. Now, when it comes to your general, what is happening? The wheel. Okay, that's the reason you're releasing. Because times are changing. You have the wheel of fortune here. This Archangel Michael. Okay, so there are positive changes happening in you. What you need to do? Queen of air. And the outcome. Ego. This is the devil. All right. So... You have the sun and the Capricorn energy. <clears throat> and we know 
Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, Sun and Saturn never go well together. Though they're dad and son, but they don't go well, okay? Uh, all right, so you have in your general life, um, Taurians, you have the sun. So now you have the light in the situation. You know where your faults lie, where the other person, where situations need to change, where the situations need to be removed. So this is your general, okay? This can apply to your work. This can apply to your career. This can apply to your health. This can apply to your habits. This can apply to relationships. But what is happening right this point of time is that there is there are some positive changes happening. Okay, there's sudden movements in certain situations. And you will be fortunate. So if somebody had been toxic in your life, they're going to go. If somebody had been positive or you have been eyeing somebody or you are thinking of approaching somebody for anything, for personal or for business growth, it's your time. You're going to get it. You're going to get that opportunity. You're going to make best use of it. You know, sometimes it does happen. Let's say I'm looking for a race or I'm looking for to change my department. And I know that department is run by somebody else. Let's say a Paul. And Paul is always busy, is always traveling. I hardly get time. I mean, I wouldn't like to email him. I would like to talk to him face to face because maybe he'll recognize that we both are from the same alumni in the same college or same university. But I want the chance and he's always traveling. But this time with a wheel here, what will happen is one fine day while you were parking your car, you know, Paul parks next to you and you both are in the elevator at the same time. And he's not talking over phone, neither are you. <coughs> so you meet and greet each other and there you have the right moment to connect. That is what the wheel means. That is how the wheel works. Sudden, sudden events which open the doors of opportunity for you. So even in your love life, if you see, there's release. So why this release? Because there's some change happening in you. You're transforming. Your times are changing. So you realize there's no point holding on to these fights. There's no point holding on to this person. Or there's no point holding your feelings for a person. It's time to release them. It's time to either tell them or to completely forget about them. So if you were angry with somebody, with your partner in the past, now you could be questioning yourself that why was I angry? And how valid is, was my anger? So you could be things, things, seeing things from their point of view. Okay? Because the sun is here. It's throwing light on every area of your life. Because sun is the center of the solar system, remember. So when it throws its light, it throws light on all the planets. And every planet affects each house of yours. You have 12 houses. All right? So that is what is happening. So there is an overall change. What you got to do is just be a bit more realistic. Have realistic expectations. Be independent. Don't, don't depend on somebody to do things for you. If you want something, go ahead, do it. If you want to change your career, go ahead. You have to take the decision. Nobody else is going to do it for you. If you're looking for a new job, nobody is going to come in with an offer for you. You have to go out and present your resume. If you're looking to mend relationships, you have to take that initiative. You have to be independent. You cannot be waiting for your friend to come and speak for you. Okay? And at the same time, have some, build some sense of humor. See humor in the situation. Be humor. Humorous. Have a good sense of humor. See things from a humorous point of view instead of, you know, brooding or complaining. See the good things that could be happening because of this. Okay? And what is coming towards you is ego. This is the devil. So this is completely a false sense of entrapment. If you feel, how can I do this? You know, how can I just go and start my conversation with a person? 
what will the person think? How will the person react? If I go and open up suddenly, I've never joined them for coffee and I suddenly go and join them for coffee, what will they think of me? So stop overthinking. You know, maybe you are focusing too much on material things or you're focusing too much on gains. Stop focusing on the gains or material things or losses. Instead, focus on that action. Okay? So, you are having fear-based thoughts. You're not able to go, but time is changing. There will be situations which will come very fast towards you. You have to make quick decisions. But with the ego there, you're not able to make quick decisions because you're thinking of all the bad things that can happen. But you're not thinking even for once, one good thing that can also happen. So you're trying to dive in a pool for the first time and the first thing you're thinking of is sinking or a shark attack. But that's just a pool, okay? No sharks can come in a pool. It's not a movie. And similarly, every pool has a certain height. You will not drown. Yeah, you might feel uncomfortable with the water hitting your nose, but you will not drown. So stop thinking, stop overthinking of the worst. Because if you do that, law of attraction comes into earth, actually pulls in those energies and starts putting them. Because now remember, your wheel is turning with the sun there and this is your time to manifest all the good things. So if you are trapped with all the negative fears or if you're trapped within material possessions, I need to have this, I need to have that or I need to clear this. Everything can't happen overnight. Everything will happen naturally. So what will happen is you will end up making silly mistakes or stupid mistakes or miss out on opportunities, which you're going to brood later. Sartarians, so, this is what I have for this month of August. If you have any queries, write in the comment below or email to me. I'll try to answer my best, okay? And I'll be out with your September monthly videos very soon. Till then, I hope this gives you a direction as to what to do. And you wait for my astrological, uh, you know, videos, which I'll be starting very soon. Hope that will give more insight on how to understand yourself as a person and to take actions at the right time. Okay? All right, Taurians. I'll see you next time. Till then. Bye.